Professor Wale Shoinka. <laughs> daddy, daddy. <laughs> God, that wow. <laughs> daddy said, Peter, will be the deceive the youth. <laughs> say they push youth. <laughs> they walk on do. <laughs> say Peter, will be not win the lecture. He will carry it out. <laughs> Professor Wale Shoinka. <laughs> you they talk. You are my daddy. I don't know if you have to talk. <laughs> Notice with me, Rich Arise TV. <laughs> First, I want to say welcome to that girl for Arise TV where you go live since. Welcome. The way they analyze and the way Ruben Abati they analyze Professor Wole Shoinka World. Oh, but this with me, I will swallow 90 cubes of sugar. <laughs> oh, Baba Leke. Oh, see me like a book. <laughs> oh my god, I don't get part to talk. I want me to watch this video start it to end now. The tweet where people tweet that I bust my brain, Professor. Well, listen, can you hide daddy? So <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> I bet if that's the first time when they watch my video, hurry, follow this Facebook page and do well to go follow my backup page at King of Apropo. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at King of Apropo. Share this video, may the world they see. And Professor Wole Soinka, I don't know what Peter will be doing. I don't know what Peter will be doing. Just watch the video and share it. Well, let's begin what's trending. In Stellenbosch, South Africa, where Nobel laureate Wole Soinka made a controversial claim accusing the leadership of the Labour Party of being aware that their party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi, lost the February 25th election. The Nobel laureate was speaking at an event titled The Lives of Wale Shoinka, a dialogue organized by Africa in the world. Shoinka used the Yoruba phrase, Bajwe, which means obtaining by deception to describe the actions of the Labour Party, stating that they are trying to force a lie on Nigerians, especially the youth, that Obi won the election. Let's take a listen. I could say categorically that Peter Obi's party came third, not even second. And that the leadership knew it. Mm. Well, they wanted to do what we call in Yoruba, Bajwe. <laughs> that is, you know, you have force of arms. Mm -hmm. You also have force of lies. Mm. And it was gearing up towards Berlin. They were going to send, some of the hardliners were going to send crowds, young people into the streets to demonstrate. I'm always ready to be among such demonstrators, but only on the banner of truth, not of lies, not of deceit. Peter Obi achieved something remarkable there, that he broke that mold. Yes, mm -hmm. however, he did not win the election. All right, Dr. Bati, that uh, phrase, Bajwe, got me. I mean, uh, you know that Ole Shoinka has always been quite vocal about Peter Obi's, you know, emergence as a, whether it is a third force or not. But before I come to you, let me take some tweets. This is from Omar, who wrote, No one can be seen to say categorically that someone didn't win an election if the person cannot show proof of what he asserts. It is on prof to show us why his assertion is true. Was he in the 36 states monitoring the elections or his agencies were or a report affirmed so? Well, Lawrence also wrote, why does Wale Shoinka feel so comfortable saying terrible things against Peter Obi? He claims Peter Obi was mobilizing youth for protests, while in truth, Peter Obi was the one telling the youth to keep away from protests. The youth are blaming Peter Obi for not allowing them protest. Wale Shoinka is saying Peter Obi was mobilizing the youth to protest. I mean, Lawrence Street was quite apt. We do know that Peter Obi has been telling everyone to stay calm until Judgment Day. Judgment Day has come and gone, and we have not seen any violence. So, I mean, it is quite worrisome to hear Professor Wale Shoinka make such assertions. Dr. Abad. It's very straightforward. Yeah. The obedience, yes. those characters on uh, social media yeah. who give uh, Peter Obi a bad name, yeah. they finally lost uh, Professor Wale Shinka. You recall that before now he had complained about this uh, obedience, some people call them some other names, you know, 
uh, operating on social media and forcing Peter Obi down everybody's uh, throats. And he said, look, at that time, that Peter Obi was even his favorite candidate mm. because he wanted change in Nigeria. And he thought somebody else, new blood, uh, should provide the uh, leadership. Many of the other people who in fact supported uh, Peter Obi, they backed away from him because of the behavior of these characters, you know, who abuse everybody, who think their own version of the truth is the only version of reality. So that's the evidence you have seen there. And you could see who can debate the um, uh, interviewer, you know, <laughs> feeling, well, where is Prof going in this matter? Yeah. That's number one. The second part, of course, is that Professor Wallace is just expressing an opinion. His opinion does not matter in this matter. The uh, Court of Appeal has ruled, right, the way the uh, presidential election petition tribunal handled the matter. Mr. Peter Obi himself and the other petitioner, the um, People's Democratic Party and Atiku Abubakar, they have said they are going all the way to the Supreme Court. What the law provides for is that it's the APS court in presidential matters that we have the final say. And I think, you know, while it is normal, natural, for people to react to uh, court rulings, mm -hmm. in this particular matter, is the Supreme Court that will tell us the truth of it. Yes, so yeah, and Professor Shoenka is not in a position because he's not a shamanist. He's not a <laughs> futurologist. He once wrote a play called Requiem for Futurologists. So he himself cannot act as a futurologist mm -hmm. in the matter. So we all should just calm down mm -hmm. and wait for, you know, the Supreme Court. And when he says bad uh, deception, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Well, there are some other commentators who will say, Professor Shoenka is accusing uh, 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 Peter Obi and the Labour Party of uh, bad of deception. But some people will say, in fact, the entire election was an act <laughs> in Grant Badwe, <laughs> a whole deceptive operation. Yeah, you yeah. know, there are people who, even if you wake up oh, them up Dr. ten Dr. years from now, mm -hmm. they will still say 2023 general election was uh, complete Badwe. Coaching Professor Shoinga. Yeah. So it's not just about a uh, Labour Party, you know, and it's on the basis of that that we are saying that there are certain reforms that will still need to take place. There are certain consequential steps that will have to be taken by the National mm -hmm. Assembly with regard to the electoral framework yeah. in Nigeria. Yeah. So that phrase, Bajue, don't limit it to <laughs> <laughs> where well, Professor Shoenka has located right. it. Yeah. Some people will tell you it's an entire Bajue that we are dealing yeah. with. Yeah, well, it has gone to the Supreme Court and we'll wait for the Supreme Court judgment. Yeah. I mean, obviously, his statement has elicited a lot of reaction.